Last October, Microsoft released three new devices in its Surface line. The Surface Pro 7, a follow-up to the venerable Surface Pro 6, which I really liked. The Surface Pro X, which is a new device altogether with Windows and ARM, and I really liked it despite some negative critics out there in the community. But of course, there's also the Surface Laptop 3, and I've been actually using that for the last three months. I didn't want to rush out my review when it first came out because I really wanted to put it through its paces and to see what it's really made of. There are a number of improvements that make the Surface Laptop 3 a definite winner. Hey everybody, this is Andrew, and this is my long-term review of the Microsoft Surface Laptop 3. Coming up. Want to see more videos like this? Why not hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell. This way you'll be alerted every time I upload a new video. And make sure you follow me on my social media, especially Twitter and Instagram, because that's where I post all the latest updates. And in the interest of transparency and full disclosure, I'm not being paid by Microsoft. I'm not being sponsored by Microsoft. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own and no one is seeing this video before its release. I did not receive a review unit from Microsoft. It was purchased with my own money. And one of the reasons I wanted to give you my long-term review is because right now you can pick up the 13.5 inch version on sale with a savings of $200, of course, depending on the model you do get. Now the unit I have originally retailed for $1299, minus $200 right now, you can pick it up for $1099 and that to me is a steal for one of the best sleek premium laptops you can get right now. And with that out of the way, let's find out what you get inside the box. Let's open it up. Lifting the lid, you're greeted by the unit itself. And I gotta say, gotta love that premium feel. It doesn't feel too heavy. It feels really sleek and really modern. I love that. Now you also get some documentation, an extension cord, and of course your surface connector adapter. Now this is of course not the only way you can charge. You could also charge via USB-C. It never fails. Every time I pick up the Surface laptops, they're really premium and I love just the way they look and feel, although this is a major fingerprint magnet if you choose the matte black. If you do get it, make sure you carry a cleaning cloth because you will be wiping it down quite a bit. And for those wondering, yes, you can lift the lid with one finger, a nice engineering design. And I love the fact that this comes in an all metal design option. You're not just limited to the Alcantara. That's pretty good. And it's certainly true that it's easier to keep metal clean long term over the Alcantara. You can get it in the sandstone color in metal. You can get it in black, which is also metal. You could also get it with cobalt blue with Alcantara, platinum with Alcantara, and platinum with metal. So you got a few varieties there. And as we always do, let's check out the port selection. We'll start off on the left side where you get one USB-A 3.1 port, a USB-C 3.1, and of course a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. And on the right side, you get your Surface Connect port. That's the only port on that side. The big deal here is the inclusion of a USB-C port. It does data, charge, and display out. But keep in mind, it's not a Thunderbolt 3 port. And as far as user upgradeability is concerned, the last version had no ability for you to get inside this laptop without damaging the laptop. But this time around, you can upgrade it, although it will take a little bit of effort. Now, I'm not going to do it because I don't want to risk damaging anything. But the good folks over at iFixit definitely did a good job demonstrating that in their video on how to swap out the SSD. I'll put the link below for that video for you to check it out. Now my unit has the 256 gigabyte SSD and these are the reads and write results as you can see here on the Crystal Disk Mark test. Pretty good reads, decent writes. Now keep in mind the RAM is soldered in so you won't be able to upgrade that. But to me the star of the show has got to be its 13.5 inch pixel sense display. I absolutely love the 3 to 2 aspect ratio that this does give you. Great for productivity work. It's also good for consuming media. It's a good blend in my opinion. That's my favorite aspect ratio. It's a very sharp and crisp display with a resolution of 2256 by 1504. That's 201 pixels per inch. But it is a very glossy display and you will notice a lot of glare and a lot of reflection. Some people may not like that. There's also no HDR option like you do get on some other competing laptops. 
but it has some really deep black, some nice contrast. It also has some good colors and it covers the color gamut really well at 98% sRGB and 74% Adobe RGB, making this a good choice for creative professionals. And at 348 nits, it's a good choice for both indoor and outdoor use. I like to see anything above 300 nits, so this definitely met my threshold. And while the bezels are somewhat thin, they're a little bit thicker than the more modern laptops we've been seeing as of late from Lenovo, HP, and Dell. Now it's also a 10 point multi-touch display and also has a Surface Pen support. That means it's using the Entrig Pen technology so you can use other pens as I'm demonstrating here with the HP Pen. So it's interchangeable and that's good. Bottom line, I really like this display. It's something about it that just really pops to me. Although again, I would like smaller bezels and it would like it a little less reflective. A matte option would have been good here. Maybe the next iteration, let's hope. The Surface Laptop 3 has an infrared camera on the top bezel. It's a Windows Hello camera. That means you can log in with face recognition, work really well registering my face each and every time I used it. They did a good job. So this is the front facing camera on the Surface Laptop 3. Uh, really impressed with this minimalist look. I really like the black on this, the matte black, which is an all metal design on this. There's no Alcantara, and I kind of like that. And as far as the camera is concerned, it's good for doing Skype. It's good for doing video conferencing. Here I am outdoors, but it still looks pretty good. Again, I want to know what you think. Let me know in the comments section below. Now, I absolutely love the keyboard, good tactile feedback, good key travel, really comfortable to type on for long periods of time. It also has a multi-stage backlight that allows you to get work done in a dark room or a dimly lit environment. This keyboard is really nicely done. And I love the touchpad. Now they made this one bigger than the last generation and it's a precision touchpad. That means it's gonna be very responsive. Two finger scrolling is buttery smooth and all the Windows 10 gestures worked as advertised. They did a fantastic job with that touchpad. Now one big change with the Surface Laptop 3 is now they're going with Intel's 10th generation Ice Lake processors. You can get it with up to a Core i7. Now I have the Core i5 and it worked really well. It's great for everyday tasks, Microsoft Office, email, web browsing, consuming media, watching Netflix, YouTube, and the like. You could also game on this if you lower some of the settings with some of the older titles, definitely get playable frame rates. But if you wanna play the more modern AAA titles, it doesn't have a dedicated GPU. Although the Iris Plus graphics do give you a nice boost over last year's graphics. And you could also play games from the Windows Store and it's actually working really well in that area. Thermals and heat are excellent on the Core i5 model, and I have to say the fans rarely come on, which is really good, but when they do, not too loud, not too annoying, that's pretty good as well. The Surface Laptop 3 sports a 45.8 watt hour battery and it did 9 hours and 48 minutes on my continuous web surfing test over Wi-Fi at 150 nits, which is definitely all day battery life. That's exactly what I'd like to see. Now it did well when you compare it to some of its competition, although not the best in this class, it definitely held its own. But if you do need to plug in, they do supply you with a 65 watt power adapter that uses a surface connector. You could also charge via USB-C and it took a little bit more than two hours to give you a full charge, which is actually pretty good. And I love the fact they give you an extra USB port on the adapter to charge your peripherals such as your smartphone. That's good. And I was very impressed with the audio coming from the Surface Laptop 3. I thought the volume was good, the mids were good, and there was some bass. They did a really good job on the sound on this laptop. Okay, let's wrap it all up. Can I recommend the Microsoft Surface Laptop 3? Is this 13 inch portable laptop worth your hard earned money? And the answer is an absolute yes. This is a steal right now with $200 off, giving you a great price to value ratio. I like its gorgeous design and build. The fact they now include a USB type C port, which is fantastic. It is instant on, really good battery life, outstanding keyboard and trackpad. I like the fact they're using Intel's 10th generation CPUs. I love the three to two aspect ratio and the SSD is upgradable, although it will require some effort for you to do that. But of course, it's not a perfect laptop, no Thunderbolt 3, no Dolby Vision, no anti-glare display option, and it is a major fingerprint magnet, but none of those are deal breakers, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna give this a score of 96%, making the Microsoft Surface Laptop 3 13.5 inch version worth your money. And not only that, it's also my editor's choice right now for that 13 inch category for the clamshell laptops. It's that good. So 
what do you think about this bad boy, the Matte Black Surface Laptop 3? Love the way it looks. Love the fact that this is now an all-metal design. I like the Alcantara, don't get me wrong, but keeping the metal clean is definitely a lot easier. Now, as far as what's under the hood, it's now got Intel 10th generation processors. They performed well. I have the Core i5 here, and as seen by the numbers, it did really well. Now, as far as what's new on the Surface 3 line, you now get a USB-C port. You didn't get that in the last generation, although it is not a Thunderbolt 3 port. It's definitely a welcome addition. It supports data charge and display out. You also get a really nice 13.5 inch pixel sense display. You get some really good battery life out of this. It's pretty much all day battery life. I got about nine hours and 48 minutes on my continuous web surfing test. That's definitely good. Now you also get that really good build quality. I love the design on this. I like the way this looks. It's a minimalist dream actually. I really like that sleek look. What really makes this stand out right now is the price to value ratio. Right now, you can pick this up for $200 off from its initial asking price. This is the $12.99 version. Get you the Core i5. It gets you 8 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigs of SSD storage. It does have a starting price right now of $8.99, but I would bump up to this model. You get more storage on this. Another key difference from last year's model, you can actually upgrade the SSD on this, something you couldn't do with last year's model. But again, it requires a little bit of work as demonstrated in the video. But I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comments section below. So please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya. Hey everybody, it's Andrew and this is my long-term Hey everybody, it's Andrew and this is my long-term review of the blah 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 blah. Hey everybody, this is Andrew and this is my un Hey everybody, it's Andrew and this is my Ugh, god. <laughs> hey everybody, it's Andrew and this is the review of the Surface Laptop 3. Yeah, coming up.